there we go. Greetings, my name is Demon Akin with a hybrid, and today I'll be playing some Valhalla. Okay, I understand I'm a few minutes late. Sorry, I was watching another stream. Because, <laughs> you know, I prioritize other streamers other than me. So, uh, plan for a day. It should be another night, so. Nothing crazy, I guess. How should you. Uh, uh, shoot. My, my mic. I noticed that my mic was having issues beforehand, but I fixed it, but it's not fixed anymore, so now I gotta fix it again. Okay, so I did change a few things, so if anything looks a bit different, it's because I had to reset a few things. I logged into, okay, for the past like six months, I actually wouldn't, I didn't log into OBS, like using my Twitch or my YouTube. Instead, I just used uh, the stream key, which usually works, and it, it's, yeah, it was pretty good. But I decided that ultimately I want to try just logging into OBS and seeing if this was a bit better. So I'm going to try this now. So if anything seems a bit different and if my audio is kind of off, it's because there's a lot of different things now. Okay, let's go into the game. I'm actually not even sure how good the game will like uh, look. Because I think this is a bit small. Yeah, yeah, that's what I expected to happen to be honest. Okay, fix that. Bump. There we go. Turn on the game audio. Not like there's any audio yet, but gotta move this as well. And I gotta hide that as well. I forgot about that. Okay. I don't know exactly where to put myself right now, but when I get everything set up in game, that's loud as hell. Jesus, one second. Once I get everything set up, I will move myself. Okay. Turn down the game audio a little bit more. Okay. I need $3,200 by tomorrow. I think I'm fucked. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, I think it was both of these, right? A survivor in Glitch City. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy, self deprecating thread? Don't trust in white knights and don't go out after 5 pm unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere, you'll have to line up for that for flower flow. They used to eat what you find, shortages are getting out of hand. Uh Imagine having to carry around a fucking chair with you. Uh, I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Don't jinx it, please. I have enough as it is. So coming here was a mistake. Why'd you come here anyways? I'm visiting your family, but now I want to take him out. Do it while you can! Yeah, airlines are leaving the city, lol. Soon we won't even be able to escape. <laughs> can I even get some weed in this crap hole somewhere? Yeah, I guess PM'd you a good dealer. Uh, Damn. I never liked doing drugs. Like, I never smoked or uh, vaped or anything like that. Not really interested. I don't want to accidentally grow an addiction. I also don't like drinking alcohol. BTC closing 40% of its bars in Good City. Balin is with The British Trademark Council is facing some economic troubles in Good City and looks like they're on their way out. Blaming, uh, blaming rising inflation rates and a free currency, the BTC has given the order to disband almost half of its recreational business businesses in the city. We can't keep di doing business like this. Glitch City has a negative impact on our earnings and we can't continue in the red, a PR representative told the Augmented Eye. Uh, primi primi primitive... Let me move myself a little bit to the right here. Uh, Prime Minister Quincy, on the other hand, thinks the BTC is just too greedy. They make a lot of money already, and now they're crying because they can't have more? Give me a break! Okay, next one. Wearing socks and sandals in public is now a crime. <laughs> I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like in the streets of Good City so long as we adhere to decency rules. However, that's about to change. Good City's Department of Public Decency was declared that has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. Jesus Christ. If convicted, the guilty face... The guilty face three days in jail as punishment for using an abominable combo. But what do you think? Should we wear whatever we want or should the fashion police of high society decide for you? Whatever the case, I think I'll simply stick to the right side of the battle. Goodbye, socks and sandals. <laughs> That's a pretty good law, not gonna lie. Red space decreases as the youth prefers a little company. Interesting. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans was treated as a joke. The reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships have become immensely popular among Glitch City's youth, to the point where birth rates are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. Annie Mae, a 17-year-old student, agrees with a general sentiment. 
It's just so much better than dealing with other people, you know? You can just make your own perfect partner. Oh, and sex is amazing. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Yeah. It's expected that new regulations will soon be announced to address the situation. Well, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I can. I understand why, but... Eh. Work. Thursday, December 29th. Good evening. Hey. That was, that was lower than it should have been. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so, I designate you, Gillian Appel Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was probably made up name. Hold up, let me drink. My throat's kind of, ah, uh, you know? Okay, I'm gonna move myself right here. I think that's good. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's fine, right? Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill? If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Uh, fine. Give me that list. I'll be back. Sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it... A gut feeling. Is it a surprise party? Did you know Gil? <laughs> Did you know Gil has a crush? He what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking stuff backward, and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar. I take it. That's right. Uh huh. All right then, to the office I go. As for me. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Gil with a crush, huh? This place, great! Oh, if it isn't... Oh shit. Uh, let me pull out the, the notes. I feel like I always have to adjust this whenever I play. Put it up here. I think that doesn't cover too much. Okay, where is she? Cure Mickey. Lord SS Cloud. And Fairy. A blue fairy. That was a good pun on me from however many weeks ago. Idle and the little. Yes, I, re I remember the idle part. Hey Jill. Sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? Uh, there's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss! Stock woman incoming! The door's open! Go ahead. The door to the left. Thanks. Hello there! Oh, hi there. The other one! That's the bathroom! Wait, what's a dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she? Oh, the hellhole! Perfect! Hey, kid! I'll have the usual. Right. Huh, you remember me after two weeks. Crazy. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Alcohol! Here you are. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, you'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations on. I can't afford to be understaffed. So, you had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know the infamy the augmented eye has with the general public, right? A shitty page that will over anything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. Zyboots Corp and a company and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. You point on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that in the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see his hellhole is still in one piece. The BTC has been going ape shit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday, they closed one that served as a key part of the drug trafficking ring. Oh Jesus. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention, there are like 100 people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. 
man, shit ran deeper than I thought. Yeah, Jesus Christ. And no news outlet talked about that. All right, kid, let's try Moon Blast for now. Come again? Hey, you and I had to break the routine from time to time. Yeah, I was about to say, what the hell? A Moon Blast? Hey, I wouldn't order Blast because they all start with M. Two, one, two. He probably wants it big. Both? How much is that? That's 12, okay. What did I just put in? Oh, alcohol. <laughs> I just threw something on in there. I didn't really know what it was. On the rocks and blended. This is like so different from what he usually orders. Here. No. Let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so... What bought you here? Oh, right. Didn't you see a Lilum coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump to the roof then? Why were you looking for her? You want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Hey, I said hitting on her. Not hitting her. Stop glaring. <laughs> Jesus. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits. Also hot ass and tits. <laughs> I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as fucking curious as shit right now. Want to know just how detailed those King Class CHIA models are? 1A. IA? Personally. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of one. And I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how uh, impressive you are to others. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. Oh, she is bad relationship, eh? In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. What the fuck? So, that little M isn't here, huh? I have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Yeah. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. Pile driver! One, oh shit. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I feel like he just wants everything big, so. Here. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Ah. The guy left! Oh, alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you! Since you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Something sweet. She ordered an SS Cloud before. That's not sweet, though. Blue Fairy is sweet, and she bought one before. I won't play an alcohol in it. Here it. Thanks. So, do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. I feel like the audio is still a bit loud, so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit more. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. Ooh. I'm not into older guys and I'm already committed to a relationship. I guess- Okay. I'm assuming that she's gonna say to her audience, right? Figure- Wait, you are? It's not common knowledge and the ones that you hear try to dismiss it as rumors, but- Oh shit! Never mind. I've been in a re relationship with my producer for a while now. Really? You're both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. My nose is like kind of stuffed, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? Isn't that really dangerous for an idol though? I already knew him well enough. It wouldn't hurt to try. How nice. He's a stick in the mud where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. I know Stella is one, and... 
Terus dia tuh. Pa 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 pa. pa. Um, <laughs> underage. That's really cool. I thought it might be um. God, my notes are getting like worse and worse as it goes on. I thought it was like Mario or something, but nah. I have nothing said written about that. I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. Okay, sorry. I've been talking like Donovan for a bit. He always just shows my throat. Give me a sec. I need to drink. Oh, he always like fucked my throat up. I have many fans. Doesn't sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image of me. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but... The few things I have heard are really good. And not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I'd support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything you... Hmm. Do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Anything like tea. That's rum. Like tea? Okay, let's start with the very first one. Tea, tea, tea. Tea. Tea, 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 tea. Anything like tea. Uh Ah, jeez. There's nothing about tea specifically. There's old chocolate milk. That's kind of like tea, but I mean, What does tea taste like? Cannon, thermometers. Tea. Bum bum ba da bum. I've got no fucking clue. Ah, oh, flavor, flavor. I mean, what does tea taste like? I actually ha don't drink enough tea to know. It's like... Not sour, is it? Not bitter. Maybe sour? Maybe a mercury blast? That's burning, and I don't think tea is burning. Hard. We got Fedora with plum and rum, but that's kind of whack. I don't think that tastes like tea, and rum is rum. Ah, shit, I actually don't know. Maybe something bitter? I'm thinking maybe some tricloud, but nah. Let's get something soft. There's no soft drinks? Ha! Get it? Soft. Something soft. Sour. Soft. I think maybe a fluffy... She, she just... No, she never bought a fluffy drink. Never mind. That was a blue fairy. Let's try a fluffy dream. I don't know. I think I'm probably fucked with this. Here. Too vague of an order, huh? Sorry. Hey, you're King Class CHI-1A, eh? That I am. Let me ask you something about your model. Sure. Are there any differences between you and a DFC-72? 
Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but... DSC-72s have the port on their heads, which make them more versatile. My line lacks that, or the resilience of the DTO-1Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice simulators are more advanced, and our movements are smoother. I trade off a functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. So, anything new for this concert? Hmm. Huh. Well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those that couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by B-Link. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Ah, so it's like a cola. It's like a switch off. Like, it's a trade! There you go, that's what I'm trying to think of. So you know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from the onstage personas they are. Really? Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times, but uh, she also laughs a lot and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Aina is a party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression. Almost like living bi Victorian dolls or something. Well, they want to pop out in the public. They once told me, if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. Yeah, I recently started reading a manga called Oshinoko. It's like, uh, it's about these kids who are like the daughter of an idol. And, uh, or the children of an idol and like what it's like going through the entertainment world and whatnot. It's really interesting. I recommend it. And so you took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties. Oh, I need, I need to sneeze. Huh, huh. No, I'm good. No. Huh? Okay, the sneeze, the sneeze is gone. The sneeze is gone, okay. And so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic- Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong voice. And so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. True, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just different direction, but not opposite. Well, I gotta go, but let's have a Sparkle Star first. Alright. Sparkle Star. One, two. So I got the the one wrong, eh? Aged and mixed. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Um, uh... Boss! Gil's back! I'll take my break. Alright. I mean, he is a pretty attractive bartender, not gonna lie. Next one. Note to self, buy oil for that door. Kiku, kiku. Squeaky as all hell. Alright then. Huh. Huh. Gil, you're in my spot. Please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of Boss's chicken buckets. Did Boss ask you to do that? And if I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that sounds like something she'd say. Let's go with that then. Right. Greetings. Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a uh, Bleeding Jane for today. Bleeding Jane? Do you should buy those? One, one, two, three, one, two, three. All blended. I feel like I never bought any of these. I guess he just wants to sober up or something. Here you go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh, it's pretty interesting though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Gil's the one you can know that too. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? Uh, um, <laughs> he's a bit out of it today though. I see. Hey Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I, I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suit was always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Um, sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, bricking many of them in the process. 
Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynching, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So, between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many of the white knights going on a run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field ripe with pat patents, just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks, I can see how. There is one weird case though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. He's a captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg corpse unit. Unique. Unique? <laughs> Sorry, I can't just unique. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. And what? Uh, um, they looked really gaudy. <laughs> but it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put it on the front that makes people lower their gods. That should sound familiar to you. True. Mm, wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. What? What did I miss? What? Uh... Is anything the amount of people here? Oh, it's getting a little in my job. <laughs> the fail the failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zybutsu Corp has its limit, eh? People love to de demonize Zybutsu Corp, but because let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords; they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tent amounts to a city state. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the most of the demonetization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just a front that whatever council behind Zabutsu Korov chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zabutsu Korov is actually doing. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So, what we're saying is that- what you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Huh. Hmm. No, seriously. And what? Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> C can I get a brantini here, please? <laughs> sure. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, and 1. All aged and mixed. <laughs> and what? Here. Thanks. So, I take- I think I'm talking too fast. I'll try and slow down here. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well... I imagine nab a couple of tickets for the Kira Mickey con an encore concert. Nice. Oh, right. As it turns out, she was just here. Again? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life. But having such a backing to that claim, to hear that she's so nice to everyone, it's nice to hear, you know? It really is. Like when you hear that somebody that you watch and look up to is actually like a decent person, like a good person. It's always nice. In fact, many think that's what made her famous so quickly. How she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. Ah, I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I never put much thought into that one. 
hell? Half the time I have no idea what made, who made what I used, nor do I care much. Being a nice person will take you far though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he has actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All that thanks to being a nice guy overall. Sounds like good advice. I will take that to heart. <laughs> but more importantly, yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna say too, the fact that she calls him daddy. More importantly, daddy? Um, <laughs> do you really believe me saying she was just... Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so recently? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hair hairdo and a cap. Well, yeah. It's because the... Your hair is very... Obvious. <laughs> and the ears too. I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with Say and her wounds. Although, she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it, and we shouldn't abuse that. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Classic drink? A piano man? Well, beer is pretty classic. There's classy and there's classic. Here, take a beer. Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house still? I do, but they've been with us for so long they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you want, if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you. And everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back! He still comes by every weekend to tend to the plants. That's interesting. That actually sounds really nice. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented patented anyways? I get always I get trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech wasn't patented patented pat holy shoot patented in the first place. It isn't? Zaibutsu have been so paranoid about making the white knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A pat fuck, I hate saying patent. A patent would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of a global shutdown, that global shutdown signal, let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that were, that are by all means, legal? The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why would it- why do it though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And the city is what happens when those money, those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though, have you ever covered up any fuckouts by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Ah, Alma. No, hello. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy, something I will fight to uphold. First the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks stops, and before you know it, boom! Total anarchy! You're exaggerating. I am not. In fact, I go through that door again and I expect you to properly greet me this time. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. Huh? Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Uh, you overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quote the bartender, I did not. <laughs> so, you like poetry. I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. Cobalt velvet! Cobalt! 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Brought to mixed. There you are. Thanks. Oh, yeah. It's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadowmaster 69's Chronicles ring any bells? <laughs> That's like the edgiest thing and dumbest name I think I've read in a while. Huh? Wow, 
You went pale. N no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. I smell food. Like in real life. I'm. Uh, I'm. I guess I'd probably eat after this. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter school contest with my latest essay. I guess knew a scientific theory on the idea of Oris was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon, I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Later, entries don't ha seem to have gone that well, though. Later, entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Jill? I made sure to delete that blog! No evidence should be left! <laughs> ooh, ooh. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Why? Why? Sheesh, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like you're still that like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Gods know. I gave up no whole occult stuff. It's just that... <laughs> God, Shadowmaster69 was Jill's, like, IGN. Ooh. Ew. Ew. It's just that remembering all the stuff is... Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you looked. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. <sighs> so you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do out the sins of my past? I was bored. <laughs> Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. That's... that's a weird hobby. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. I can just use a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. Well, you to the page. You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? <laughs> like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism, I want to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. <sighs> Never under underestimate the lengths old classmates would go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kiss them for fun and they're lonely to boot. Jesus. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. <sighs> now I know how so criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask though, mine 69. <laughs> it was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Okay. Joe, there's nobody that would read that at 6'9. Uh, I was 12 at the time. <laughs> Even at 12, I fucking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. <laughs> well, let's sweeten up things a bit. I have Sugar Rush. Sure. Sugar Rush. 1, 2, 1. Pretty easy. Here. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speaking of the past. What was your lo last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past, I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing? Yep. Huh. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who had I described as such that I've introduced my to my family and all. First one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. Fair enough. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight, and me just saying, keep the fucker. <laughs> the second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. Like, full on? He starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it... Anyways, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good count, good count. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had almost chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced, he distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There's a part of me that wanted to believe, even if just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just had to break up with him. Huh. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will you? Sure. 
one one two one one two one two three four. Here you go. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question, and we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, asking away. At what age did you get <laughs> those implants in your boobs? Uh, Jill, I love you, and I know you're saying that in jest. But I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, in honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real and they're spectacular. Now ask the real question before I stop you. <laughs> I got you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation then. I gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping me because my real question was, why did you... Why did you get your hands chopped? What? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spend lots of time typing. Oh! So like, it's a uh, robotic hands instead. And these replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Honestly, that, I would do that too if I could. Oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with main devices. Like honestly, whenever I use my mouse or my keyboard, like even the way my arms are set up now, like they're complete, my arms are completely on the desk just so I can avoid carpal tunnel. Like they're relaxing like perfectly peacefully right now. And that's how I usually play games as well. Cause I, I'm so scared of carpal tunnel. There's other, uh, yeah. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. Oh really? If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. Cool. That actually, that actually sounds really cool. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How'd your family take the operation? It took it well enough. Except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. Oh, really? One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told him to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible and the family agreed to their donation. That's pretty nice of you actually. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. So, are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You are pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It sounds a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Now you don't. Eh? Why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and only one chance and you just use it up. <laughs> Damn it! Surprise! Uh, hey Alma, it's not be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey! Not particularly, no. Although, there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. It proposes a scenario where nanomachine clusters will leave the body after death and then act as a collective hive mind through re residual brainwaves. Oh Jesus. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hip hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the heart too dense for the, the blood too dense for the heart. Oh Jesus. It's not like brainwaves are potent enough to create those restrictions. Reactions. Still an interesting read though. I see. Huh. Don't give me that look! It's not my fault that you convinced yourself that you're crazy! Well, I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am. What about you, Gil? Mm. For some reason, the other girl left him like that, it seems. Oh shit, I, I was wondering what was like, wrong with Dana's eye, but nah. You think? It might have been while he was out. True. Hey boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... That I am. Yeah. That I am, yeah? Why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? 8th grade what? Junibios? When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems with good old wrestling, but... Ahem. <clears throat> no, seriously. 8th grade what? <laughs> Second time this night. But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show. It just so happens it uses fight as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, me neither actually. Interesting. 
Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad mouthing wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> oh, well, wait, what? Come here, fuck boy! Fuck boy! <laughs> it's <your> what? <laughs> oh, I don't have enough money! Oh, that's it? I just get distracted no matter what. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, I'm like a thousand off though. I wouldn't have gone anyways. Okay. Alright, well that's tonight. <laughs> Pretty short. As per these streams are, but... Still, still. Okay. We, uh, let's go to this other screen. Wrong one. There you go. I just realized I don't have a... Uh, I don't have... What? I don't have a transition. That's what I'm trying to think of. Let me give myself a transition real quick. Make it fade. What? There we go. That's better. Okay. So, that's it for today's stream. Hope you enjoyed. This is night 7, 18? 17. 18. Night 18. Uh, but yeah. Leave us on by. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then be stop by again. And take care. Peace. Tomorrow I'll be streaming. Terraria, probably. After that, I might start streaming uh, Sacred on su Saturdays. On Sundays, I mean. But yeah. Okay, so, yeah, take care, bye.